Helm. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you, Shannon. We are really, really excited about this hour. We've got lots of special things going on in the show. Great opportunities to improve your at-home. But this is a special edition of At Home. Uh, since um, 2011, you know, we've partnered up with Habitat for Humanity. We help families in need. We help them uh, locally. We help them nationally. We help them globally. And today only, we have an incredible offer for all our friends out there. In addition to getting a great product, you're also going to have 20% uh, of the purchase price price of your product will be donated uh, to help build a home and habitat for humanity. It's a great, great way for you to get something great for your house and also to give back a little bit. And that's what it's all about. All of that and a whole lot more, including a special guest coming up at home. Welcome in. You know, one of the parts of uh, our aspects of beautifying your home is obviously your landscaping and making sure you have beautiful, gorgeous plants. Well, let me tell you, you're going to get to meet Michael Perry in just a second. He's amazing in, in his wealth of information about plants and how to decorate your yard. But we've brought this uh, here. It's been extremely possible, uh, are extremely popular, and we just got it back. This is our Meadow Valley Ornamental Red Japanese Maple Tree. Normally, it's $49.95. It is $10 off today. Flat rate shipping of only $5, and you can break of the payments under $20. You want to talk about something that pops. You know, deep red foliage, easy to maintain, easy to grow. And here's the man that knows all about it can say how easy it is to put it in your <laughs> property. Michael How's it going? Good, good to see, see you, again, pal. How's it going? I love that shirt. Yeah, I know. The shirt is growing on this me. This is going to go so well with the hostas that we've got it, coming it up will. as well. It will. And yeah. we've got, Michael's brought a lot of great stuff. Let's start off with this Japanese maple. These trees are so gorgeous. And, and you, you can always see one coming oh, like from a mile away. This is away. an absolute premium tree. If you were comparing this to a car, it would be the, the Cadillac of the tree world. And more importantly, it's a tree that grows in a small garden as well. It doesn't need a Whoa. lot of space. Look you can that. grow this in a container or in a small yard. You could even have a container on the porch or even on the balcony. It is compact, it's slow growing, so it takes a long time to get to that ultimate size. You've got gorgeous blood red spring color and orange rustic fall color it is an amazing tree it really is a perfect opportunity to buy it it's some yeah. great value as well and i love that we're going to get you all started up because mm. when you actually see the uh the, the planting that you get mm. you have a, a pretty well developed uh system already going up right Absolutely. out of the gate so this is a bare root plant so i want right. to show you just how big this tree already is. And to explain why there isn't any container, there isn't any soil there, we basically don't want you to have to pay for the container and the soil because this is the raw material. This is the best way to buy your plants and for the very best value. And they will establish easier and quicker as well because this is a dormant plant. This is basically a plant which is asleep and the perfect time to plant that into your yard, onto your patio or your porch, is now so we will send everything at the right time for planting depending on where you live in the united states right. we have a map here to show you the dispatch date so you could even plan and give this as a gift for father's day i love that that's coming up in yeah. june isn't and, it right and we've color coded it for you so you mm. can see depending on what part of the country you live in you can see exactly when yours will be delivered we don't want to deliver it and have it sit around in the garage or the mm. shed for months we want to make sure you get it and you know exactly when to plant it so we make it so simply when you do that we only have 600 of these to go around. As, as Michael uh, warned me before, he said, this has been very popular, so we just got some more back in. It's, uh, let's talk about how easy it is to plant and the maintenance and all that stuff. It really is. This is a tree that will grow in sun or partial shade. It also tolerates pollution, so you can grow this in city areas. It tolerates deer damage, and rabbits avoid it as well. But more importantly, it attracts a whole range of different insects and bees right. and butterflies to the garden. Yeah. The color you can see, this is your summer color, which is rustic, it's kind of red-orange. Right. That will go even more intense orange in the fall, and then next year you'll have that gorgeous so spring red color. It's an amazing tree that's got it all. I love this tree because you can find this tree everywhere. It's a very hardy mm. tree. It grows almost everywhere in the country. I mean, it really does. It, it doesn't take much to get it started. But honestly, Meadow Valley, what's so wonderful about that company is 
is the product itself. You know, when you get it, you know it's been nurtured, it's been cared mm. for so that when you get it, you don't have to deal with all that. You don't Absolutely. have to try to bring it back to life. It just does its of thing. Of course, and everything's got full instructions. So even though we're sending you a plant that you're not used to seeing in that format in the garden centers or the DIY stores, we're sending you step-by-step -step instructions to understand how to grow these plants. It's one of the easiest trees to begin with. It's great for beginners. Yeah. It's a great gift item as well. Yep. It will grow in sun, partial shade, tolerate any type of soil. It tolerates pollution. So if you've got a yard that has a lot of traffic going by and you're sure. used to having, you know, finding it difficult to establish plants right. there, this is the plant for you. If you have deer and rabbit in your garden, this will not be affected by those problems. And, it I, really and I, heard, is. I heard it, it does well in, in some shade too. It doesn't have to be perfect full day sun all the yep. time. So full sun or part shade, it will survive in both. You can yeah. plant this as a specimen in the center of a lawn, or you can plant it in a container as you see here. Right. And this, is how your plant will look within just two seasons as well. Isn't that nice? So you see, it's it's not a it's not a super fast grower, but mm. it'll grow with you, which is really nice. Kind of grow, grows like your kids. Mm. You know what I mean? <laughs> a little bit at a time, but you can tell that it's getting there. And then of course it gets more red and it fills out. Let's show that picture of the one that's the the uh, one that's developed because this reminds me of some of the neighborhoods where I grew up in New England. Yeah. And you see you'll see these beautiful Japanese maples and they pop because there's a lot of green up yep. in New England as you'll well. You'll have the same look full color as New England in your garden when you buy this tree. Oh it's my premium, it's got the spring color, the summer color, the fall color. It's compact as well. It isn't a big tree that's gonna take over your yard. The right. roots aren't gonna get under the foundations of your house. Remember, it tolerates pollution, deer, rabbits, squirrels. It really is tough. It's a bulletproof tree. Brilliant for beginners. If you've kind of wondered what type of tree you can grow and right. you wanna add some structure to your garden, you don't sure. want one that's too big, too small, this is your perfect medium-sized yeah. tree. And you're not always just doing flowers or vegetables mm -hmm. or fruits and stuff like that. You need some beautiful ornamentals, and that's what this will be. In fact, I can tell you, you know, this is the kind of tree, when you grow up, you remember that tree, yeah. right? You remember Absolutely. that tree that was in the backyard? You remember that Japanese maple? I mean, you, you remember things like this, and it's going to be around for a long, long time. I have about 550 left for everybody out there, so if you want one and you don't have a green thumb, in fact, if you don't have a green thumb, keep shopping because most everything in this show anybody mm -hmm. can utilize and you can take advantage of. This is only $39.95. It's on Flex for less than 20 bucks. You want to get your house looking great. I mean, this is the time. Mm -hmm. Oh, and one last thing. Remember, we have it color-coded. So across the country, we'll put that map up throughout the show. When these are delivered, what's so smart about Meadow Valley, they deliver them so it's the opportune time for you to plant. So if you live up north, you see purple, it tells you when to plant. If you live down south, you see the red, you know when your plants are coming so they're not sitting around. Uh, really quickly, now we're not gonna get to spend uh, a lot of time on this, but uh, we have the butterfly and bee. Oh, 50 yeah. feet. Will you just talk to that for I've a I've heard this sec? is selling superbly on the website and it's a collection which is giving you a range of different summer flowering bulbs which attract bees, butterflies and hummingbirds to the garden. It is a completely unique collection and it will give you color in your garden. It will give you fragrance. It will give you long flowering summer bulbs as well. And of course, bulbs are one of the easiest things to grow because all the goodness is ready in that bulb. So even if you've got a, a poor soil or a difficult spot in your garden, right. drop some of these bulbs in and you've got 50 bulbs to play with there as well. All right, so that's only $24.95. So that's like, look at, look at all the colors in there. That's <laughs> amazing. All right, you were just talking about butterflies and you were talking about hummingbirds. Mm. If you love the, the beautiful garden creatures to come to your house, you're gonna love our proven winners. These are the color spires salvia duo. So you get two mm. plants. You, I'm telling you, butterflies will flock. I, oh. See, I, I'm, I lived in Arizona for a while, and I remember one of the first things everybody told me was, you gotta put out a butterfly feed or a hummingbird feeder, it's so much fun. Uh. They are amazing. These will attract those beautiful garden Absolutely. creatures, and, they have, and, they, and they're just fragrant and gorgeous. These are salvia, and they are a magnet for bees, butterflies, mm. hummingbirds, and they flower continuously all the way through the summer. They'll tolerate heat, they'll tolerate cool conditions, they'll grow in sun, partial shade. They are not fussy about the type of soil they grow in either. They really are bulletproof. The flowering season is almost never ending. This, it flowers like a bedding plant, even though it's a perennial. And by perennial, I mean that this will come back every year. So it will give you that long summer display for years to come, 10 years or more That's in your garden. Awesome. Imagine you could grow them as either side of the pathway, almost like a hedge. Yeah. So you right. walk through the butterflies and yeah. you can enjoy them. It's great for kids as well to see 
all the different colors yeah. and shapes. I was amazing. just uh, I was just up in Orlando, uh, mm. up at uh, Universal, and uh, they have a, there's a butterfly garden mm. in one of the properties, and these were all over the place. Oh. I was like, I, I, I remember seeing because I'm like, what are those pointy purple things? And then I came they're and I'm like, that's what they were. Amazing. When you first yeah. look at them, you think they're lavender, but no, these salvia and salvia are one of the most popular landscaping mm. plants in Europe as well. And when you know something's a landscaping plant, you know that's going to perform for you in your yard at home because they only choose the best, longest flowering, bulletproof plants for landscaping purposes. Yeah. So you know this is going to multiply quickly. It's going to give you big clumps of that rich lavender and blue color, which is attracting yeah. birds, bees, hummingbirds. It's also tolerant of heat, drought, cold conditions as well mm -hmm. and it's zero maintenance nothing to do just you know let yeah. it, it gets its water and once it's a coming while back and every year yeah. giving you that amazing display that amazing attraction of the bees and butterflies sun part shade continuous flowering what more Look could you that. want from a plant and i love that those shades of purple they mm. really are beautiful uh they go they're going to grow about two feet high at maturity mm. um you're going to get two of the cuttings uh the dormant salvia cutting plants when you get it. remember all oh, this is all done in the united states these are mm -hmm. all here um they'll, they'll send them out to your house you pop them in and you watch what happens it, that's the most exciting part about this is that you know you're looking at the images up there in the screen but this is going to this is going to mm. be in your yard this is going to mm. be in your garden next to your driveway yeah. if you have a maybe you have a lamp post you want to put some flowers around it please get if you can get one or two things in the shell i'm telling you meadow valley are proven are proven winners as a company and these are proven winners uh as as a beautiful a color addition to any home or garden mm -hmm. um we only have about a minute and a half um really quickly it's less than twenty dollars look how beautiful these are mm -hmm. going to be how long does it take for them to get to the planting stage to about there well this is the plant that you'll receive at home okay. so this is again a dormant plant which is ready to grow the moment you drop it into your soil you can grow it in a container you can grow it in the border in the yard this will be in flower giving the display that you see here in the studio by mid-July. Oh, that's perfect. So you haven't got to wait until next year. You will get that continuous summer display this year and every year after for 10 years or more. Right. Zero maintenance as well. This is one of the easiest to grow plants, which is yeah. also the most rewarding. What a perfect combination. And I love too, Michael, because that you said that it's a repeat bloomer. So this will, yes. these flowers will just keep it coming will keep out. keep flowering. Keep coming out and out and out. And so it that... smells of black currant as well. Oh my gosh. I don't know I if you that. can smell it here, but a small rub of the leaves. It's a smell. gorgeous black currant smell. Oh so my got, God, that's awesome. You've got the color, you've got the fragrance, you've got the longevity. That's on the leaves. All right, really quickly too, don't we have, right, we're not gonna spend time on it, but you, if you love strawberries, talk about our beautiful strawberries oh, Well, this is have. another strawberry Yum. that goes on and on and on. This is Albion, which is an ever-bearing variety, which means that it fruits all through from June through to July, through to August, September. Four months of strawberries, Yum. three pints of strawberries per plant so 30 pints of strawberries Man. from this collection plus you get the container to plant them into as well that pays for itself because and it a only pint takes, of strawberries is it only takes foot. one cubic foot of space to, to grow 30 pints of strawberries That's, and we'll prove it to you with this collection that is and look how much fun and look at how great that is all right makes it easy especially remember what, what michael says to that you don't have to live on a farm to have a beautiful garden okay you can live in the city you can live anywhere you want Absolutely. and you can take advantage of these all right, so why buy from us when it comes to Meadow Valley? Well, let me tell you why, because these are all hand-picked uh, for you to be beautiful and very easy to maintain. The plants will be shipped to you at the perfect time for planting. You get a one-year warranty on all the perennials. You get a three-month war warranty on all the annuals and all the instructions on how to plant for them and how to care for your beautiful plants are all built right in. All right. <laughs> Let's go. Now, we, we offer you all kinds of, we a lot of diversity when it comes to Meadow Valley, and this these this mixed pasta collection is gorgeous. I know my dad had these uh, at his garden up in New England, loved them, and he would oh. disperse them around. Um, they're perfect for mixing, putting on borders. They are. But, but we're gonna give you um, seven field-grown uh, dormant mm -hmm. hosta plants for you to, to take care of. Mm -hmm. um, they can pretty much go anywhere, right, Michael? Absolutely, hostas are super versatile. They'll these. grow in sun, they'll grow in shade, they'll grow in full shade as well. They'll grow in those dry, awkward areas beneath trees and shrubs. They will multiply as well. This collection of seven varieties are not just new and award-winning varieties, but they will also cover an area of 60 square feet. Look at so that. you can grow these in your yard, in the border, alongside the pathway, maybe in one of those forgotten corners of the yard where you haven't had any color for years. Right. Add some color with these ever ever blooming ever leafed hostas they're amazing and what you see on the table here today 
is seven plants this worth. Is what so you look can like. see yeah. the collection that you can create with this. You can grow them in the yard, but you can also grow them in containers. These silver containers look really beautiful with these because mm -hmm. they really play off with the colors of the leaves. Every plant in this collection will have a different colored leaf as well. Even when they're not in flower, you've got the color from these plants. That's what I love about Which them. Which other plants yeah. give you that? They're beautiful. Almost it's like, colorful. Almost like a variegated kind of, you know, you see the color that kind of yeah. disperses in between. So they, they pop even before they flower. Mm. But listen, this one, we don't have a lot of. I have about a thousand of these, of these seven packs to go around. And the shipping is only $3. We reduced it on these and they're on flex for $9.98. So um, let's talk about what, when you order, what you're going to get here. You, so these so are the, these are the plantings. You're going to get seven seven high quality bare root plants which are lifted from our Dutch nurseries just before we send them to you look again how they look already. we're sending those <laughs> plants to you at a different time in each state so we'll never send you plants while you've got frost on the ground right. or it's too cold to plant them but remember these will give you those leaves and flowers this year you haven't got to wait for them to establish these will look good for you in your garden by June so if you want to grow some of the best most colorful award-winning hostas in your garden the place to order them is here today. They're available in the stores, but you may not get such a wide range of colors. Right. You may not get such interesting varieties, which are not just award-winning, but with flowers as well. The flowers are often fragrant and they're just like really small lilies. Mm. These are brilliant yeah, plants for ground cover. So when you grow ground cover in the garden, you've got a chance of beating the weeds because right. basically these hostas will cover the ground so thickly and securely that the yeah. weeds won't be able to get through. Right. And you won't have to water your garden either because that coverage of hosta foliage and plant will lock the moisture into the ground. Yeah. So ground cover is the way forward if you're looking for low maintenance care in your garden. So ground cover beneath trees, sure. shrubs, awkward spots, maybe by that kind of awkward drain where it's always a little bit moist and sometimes right. it overflows. Sure. Hostas grow in dry soil as well as moist soil, so they will work in most problematic areas of your yard. And remember, this collection of seven plants is giving you 60 square feet of coverage. Yeah. Imagine that space in your it's garden and yeah. how you could just plug these plants into that space that's a and really, cover it. That's a really, really and big stop space. stop the weeds, lock yeah. the moisture in as well. And remember, all this on, for under a $20 bill, mm. it's so much easier. You know, the, the issue when, when you go to, uh, to nurseries and things like that, and we don't poo-poo nurseries, you know, it's all part of it, but, but the issue is you don't really know the condition of the plants mm. when you buy them. You know, you don't know how often they've been watered, how long they've been sitting what? in a nursery in a, in a little tiny container. You're also paying know. for things you don't need to. Exactly. You're paying for the container. You're yeah, paying for the dirt. soil. But yeah. this, this is the raw product, and this is one of the differences with Meadow Valley. We're sending you plants directly from the nursery. You're bypassing all those extra costs that are associated with the garden centers and DIY stores. You're getting this raw material, and you're getting access to better varieties, new different and exclusive varieties. 900 left. Okay, so these are going very, very quickly. We knew they would. Um, you know, what's not wonderful about the Hosta collection too is, as Michael keeps saying, you put them anywhere, even areas where, where you've got confined areas, you know, little spaces where you're like, you know, I just would like some cover there. Yeah. I don't want to have to deal with it. I don't, I don't necessarily need flowers, yep. even though you'll get some. I just want something that gives me that, that little bits of yellow and green that mm. kind of separate. And then if you want to mix and match flowers in between, it's great mm. to mix with it mm. because there are they're a wonderful background to make other flowers Of course, pop. they are. These are the plants that help other plants to look good. Yeah. That is what hostas do. They're almost like that kind of, they're backing dancers for your border, yeah, aren't they? Exactly. They really are. They're the choir. But remember, <laughs> they're not just for borders. I think they look fantastic in containers. And what we've made up in the studio here today is the range of hostas in silver zinc containers, which look absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Remember, it's not just color from the leaves, but later in the summer, you've got fragrant flowers as well. Yeah. It's really an amazing plant. I, I love that you talk about putting them in containers yeah. too, because remember, a lot of us, uh, a lot of people out there live in apartments, maybe you live in a city, and maybe mm. you live in a high rise, whatever, but you have a little garden out on your patio. It's so nice to have these. But even if you live in a, in a traditional neighborhood, putting them in the pots is nice because mm. you can move them. Well, you can make right? a lovely display yeah. on the porch, can't you? And yeah. have them kind of some of them risen them at the bottom. Onto the porch from the garden. And you can keep moving them around. It's almost like a kind of jigsaw garden then. So yeah. grow your hostas in containers or grow them in the border. Remember, they're so useful in the border for those difficult corners beneath trees and shrubs. If you sure. sometimes look at that ground and think, what would ever establish there? Right. The answer is hostas 
and Lily of the Valley as well. If yeah. there's some available on the Love website, those. that would be the perfect yeah. partner for Ryan, this collection uh, here Michael today. Michael brings up a good point. Go to hsn.com mm. at any time and look at the other selection. I have 800 now left of these, but go check out the selection when you're trying to build your garden. You know, it's a lot of it has to do with what colors you like. We've been learning a lot about color lately mm. from our designers, uh, from everybody mm. out there. Uh, we had Carlton Varney in last night. He was telling everybody how color can change your mood. Let me tell you, planting a garden and having flowers will completely change your mood. When I'm, when I'm stressed out, I will walk out on my patio where I have plants and stuff yeah. like that. And I can, it, it just calms you down. Yeah. It's so nice. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, and then the butterflies come and all that good. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's you're creating a whole world for yourself and you can do it for a fraction of the price that you would do if you went to the store. You go to the store, you're going to pay six or seven or eight or maybe ten dollars for one container plant. But remember, this is delivered to your door. Right, you're you likely to drive. If you drive anything like me, you're likely to pick up a load of plants at the garden centre and yeah. they all tip over by the time you're right. home. And you've got yeah. dirt everywhere all over the car and in yeah. your trunk. So why not have the plants delivered directly to your garden? 700 left. One, one mm -hmm. more thing I wanted to mention too, which I love about these, is when you do buy plants from the store, and I will tell you this, because it's a fact, um, you also can sometimes bring home insects. Yeah. Uh, they, because you've got that environment. Mm -hmm. When you see these, you'll see they are in pristine condition mm -hmm. when they come because they don't have the soil, which can be a nest. I got, I got bitten about 100 times by really? fire yeah. ants what? from two plants that I had grabbed, brought over, Within seconds, I realized they were climbing up my arms, and this no. was in a big store, and it's a true story. And I'm like, so I would have brought those in my car. Luckily, I noticed ahead of time, these are not going to come within seconds. No, six these will be 100% clean because that's how we need to dispatch them across the water to you. Love it. All right, mm. listen, we are down to about 600 of these to go. Uh, you're going to absolutely love when you get them. You're such, so much fun always working with you, buddy. Oh, you know man. that. You Good too. to see you again. <laughs> when are you back? Uh, May the 5th. All right, he's back. Yes. May the 5th. Cinco de Mayo, we'll see A you. A little break. Hey, still to come, uh, we have our wonderful uh, blower, combo blower, mulcher vacuum. That's coming up and at home a little bit later with my good friend Peter Kilcullen, who's, by the way, a top fashion model. At least he was. He's still a model here. Uh, anyway, uh, he's coming up in a little bit. Um, so uh, stay tuned for that. But if you want to get rid of that mess uh, that you've got, the debris around your house, this not only will blow it off the, the porch or off your chairs or around your garden, and you can adjust the wind, by the way, it'll also vacuum it up. It'll mulch it as well. It's only $69.95. You're going to love that. All right. Remember, for today only, what's so wonderful about our show today is we are also combining with our HSN Cares program. We're going to donate 20% of the purchase price of every item sold in this show for Habitat for Humanity. We have a very special guest, uh, President Bill Brand is going to be here when we come back. First, there's our buddy Jeff. He's got our spotlight. Nowhere is the spirit of craft, artistry and southern charm more alive than in the heart of Nashville. Celebrate our Music City Nashville event with multi-platinum singer, songwriter and virtuoso guitarist Keith Urban. He's designed the Urban Guitar Collection with the hope to share the gift of music with the world and inspire others to set out on their own musical journey. Find them here only at HSN. Visit hsn.com for more. I'm Joy. I'm a mother. That's first and foremost. I'm curious, always curious. I'm a bit of a perfectionist and I'm an inventor. So when I'm designing product, it's all about making everyday life simpler. I guess that's just how I look at things. I find a lot of inspiration from just living my everyday life. And I think, boy, every day's a gift. Make joyful discoveries every day. From Italy, a land known for luxury, heritage, and style, comes Perlier. Exquisitely crafted, natural ingredients, where tradition meets modern science. The ultimate spa experience. No appointment necessary. Shop Perlier Wednesday. Labellum for HSN is boho, modern, flattering, and comfortable. I've always had an interest in fashion and being able to incorporate the inspiration from my music and what's comfortable for me to wear on stage and always looking good but enjoying what I'm wearing. That was important to me. The Labellum woman is truly every woman.
day here at HSN and at home. We're really excited. You know, we, we're, we've combined with HSN Cares Habitat for Humanity. What we're doing in this hour is we are donating 20% of the purchase price of all the items in the show to benefit Habitat for Humanity. And here to tell us more about it is my very good friend. He's also a part-time landscaper. He is a painter. <laughs> he's a carpenter. He's a cabinet, a cabinet maker. Bill Brand, our president. Here he is actually oh on site pushing the wheelbarrow. Check it out. Look yes. at that. <laughs> Look at that. We, uh, we do um, not just talk about it, Guy, but we put a little bit of energy into this. And thank you. We actually um, do. Yeah. Thank you for everything that you're doing to support HSN Cares and Habitat for Humanity. Um, we know there's a need in this country for affordable housing, and our company is dedicated to yeah. you know, raising awareness, working together. Yesterday, you can see our colleagues building alongside the homeowner. There's Brittany. Um, there's Uncle Tim, yeah. one of the guys that works for Habitat. But these guys really are dedicated including yeah. our executive team and yeah. all of our colleagues we are building our eighth and ninth home in the community here that we serve yeah. and then around the country other colleagues are also working to provide affordable housing for yeah. families and when you see the faces on the folks oh. that, that get to do this they're so appreciative you know um, and and you know we're not giving them homes we're helping them establish home ownership yeah I think that's really important this is not a home giveaway right the homeowners as you saw they have sweat equity they have to put in a certain number of hours they take financial literacy classes yeah. and that what they earn is they earn a mortgage on a home yeah and they're able then to provide for their family yeah. they're no longer going to be going from apartments that aren't safe they're not going from to relatives homes right. they're going to know where their kids are yeah. going to school all the way through it's one of the things a lot of us take for granted we don't we think oh you know because we were we were fortunate enough to be raised in an environment where we never thought about those things but it's it's such a big deal for people to have that sense that they can also you know have their own home let's talk a little bit about we got our next picture up here now What's this one who's that there oh cool well <laughs> This is our friend Brittany. We That's were helping Brittany. Brittany. Right. This is a homeowner. She works in, at a hospital, and she has earned this home that we were helping her with. And right. next to her is the beautiful Hillary Scott uh, from Lady Antebellum, she's amazing. who also joined us on the Thank build site no. yesterday. <laughs> she built that, and what was really cool is when they were done, she signed that with the homeowner oh, and Lord. said, you know, bless you and yeah. love Hillary. It was so cute. What a great moment. It, it, it's contagious. I'm telling you, when you get there, I worked with Bill on a home once, and you get in there, and you see everybody working so fastidiously, and everybody's trying to help and it was about a hundred degrees that day you remember yeah well, not so bad yesterday but remember that day <laughs> oh my god um, it was awful I had but, fire, it, yeah. you know, but that's that's what part uh, that's part of it by the way um you can check out our uh, we've got them all the, all of them are coming here at 1 p.m today uh, it's eastern time so if you want to check out the show and all the cool stuff they have i watched her last night what a, what a charming sweet wonderful person just um has yeah. has such a heart is so generous and an amazing yeah. new fashion line that we're proud to have here yeah. at hsn you've been here for a while and a, Almost a, ten, a, over 10 years. Yeah, I know. And, and you know, Bill, Bill's, you know, it's funny because, you know, Bill's our president, but Bill's also our friend. He's our oh, buddy. Thank and, you, know, you, you are. You know, we can, you're approachable. He's the same kind of guy that, that we all are. Um, but I, I know you got involved with this for a reason. How, how did you get started with this whole thing? Well, first of all, HSN Cares, I think, inspired me to get more involved in the communities that we right. serve. And I think it inspired, inspired a lot of our colleagues. Yeah. But um, I had the opportunity to, be, you know, build alongside you and really see the need in the communities and mm -hmm. around the world. And I also had the opportunity to meet Habitat's most famous volunteer, um, Jimmy Carter. And um, President Carter has been involved since he was left the White House, and he has done an amazing work. And I'm really excited in July for Carter Build Week. Yeah. Um, I'm going to take vacation week and build alongside the president, <laughs> and um, we're going to build 150 homes in a week. <laughs> so um, this man has inspired yeah. um, countless people, but um, certainly it's the work of everyone it here is. to give back. And, and, and I, I tell you, you guys, you, Jen, Cotter, all our executive committee, all the folks that have volunteered, they're all an inspiration. Because I'll tell you, before I even went in, I didn't even know what to expect. Right. And when you get there, it is amazing to watch all you guys just doing the work, and, and it's a wonderful thing. And I know you you say you wanted one other thing, because there's some other people we need to thank, right? Yeah, no, I think that, you know, certainly HSN Cares, we're proud of that work. But most importantly, we couldn't do it without our customers. So I want to say a special thank you to all of you that support our HSN Cares program, and particularly this month, the work that you're doing with Habitat. Um, since we started this program with Habitat, we have raised over $2 million from you, our customers, and I cannot express my level of gratitude more. I am so 
very thankful to work for this company and to be able to serve and work alongside our customers to do good in this world. So thank you so much. Thank you. Nice job, my friend. Thank, thank, you, thank you so much. We appreciate all the effort you put into it, and everybody else out there and our customers as well. Hey, you know, and it's it's all about, you know, giving what you can. And and, and this show is about that too. 20% of the price, of, thank you. Uh, the purchase price of all this stuff is going to Habitat for Humanity. Now, our next item, I know you bought two. I do. I have two new doormats at home. <laughs> <laughs> There's two new. It's our indoor outdoor doormat. And I will tell you, let me tell you, Bill told me, he's like, these things are awesome. I'm like, I know they are. They're fantastic. Uh, but remember, 20% of that price is going to help build uh, homes for other folks out there. Here we are actually on site. There's Jen Cotter right there. And you saw Bill. There's me telling Jen Cotter what to do. Yeah, put it there, Jen. That's what we're doing. Yeah, the life. Uh, yeah, that's all. The rugs that you're seeing are amazing. We have all colors available right now. Uh, and they truly are, are a wonderful addition to any home. I love the pop of color. So no matter what you put in your house, you'll, you'll absolutely love it. Alexandra Baker's here. Good morning. How, How are, are you? What an exciting morning. Thank you. <laughs> Isn't this great that we can this do this? This is beautiful. This, right? this is a beautiful indoor-outdoor mat. And this, you know, we're being part of the Habitat for Humanity show this morning. And, you know, it's such a blessing to be able to have a home. And, and I'm passionate about all things home. And I'm really excited about this mat because it's functional and beautiful. You can see it says welcome. It's got the lovely key. You know, home is the key is what we've yeah. been saying with Habitat for Humanity. And what's wonderful about this mat, it's the perfect size. It's 36 by 24. And you know, I put some water already here, as you can see. It's nice and moist and damp. I had already put some water in here. But the okay. reason why I did that is because unlike many other mats, oh, especially inexpensive ones, soak through. it does not soak through. So it completely evaporates. Therefore, you're not going to have that collection of mildew that can sometimes get yeah. underneath your mat. You know that. There, right? Like nasty, black, it's funky. not good. You don't want to breathe it. Right. You don't want to smell it. You don't want that in, around your home. It also has this incredible non-skid bottom. This non-skid surface has been certified by the National Flooring Safety Institute. That's a big deal because if you choose to put this in your kitchen, which this is lovely enough to put inside oh, yeah. the kitchen, the laundry room, the garage, from the front door to the back door, and it's not going to slide underneath. It's got a nice low profile, so if it's near a door, you don't have to worry. Right. And these colors are really spectacular. I, I, I know love, you love the red. I love the size of it because this is, it's really big. It's 24 by 36 by about a half inch high in height. Yeah. And we give you a little height there so you can scrape off your shoes or dirty boots or whatever but I agree this I actually, uh, I don't know if you know this, I actually purchased the blue one. I'm going to put that right inside my doorway because I, you know, we, we, we brush, brush off our feet before we go into the house anyway. We sure. put our shoes off to the left. It's ideal for that. Indoors or outdoors, this will last you years. And I love the waterproof design because now after the water dissipates and evaporates, you can take it outside or you can just shake it up outside and you can get everything else. You wash it with just a garden hose or whatever to clean it off. This is made in the USA. Uh, you're going to love it. It's got the that heavy duty propylene um, uh, face and then it's got that super tough durable rubber backing which won't go up anywhere it'll stay in place no matter what um, the water that has a, what we call a water dam rubber water border dam. that goes around yeah. the outside oh, really quick update if you want red how many Aaron <clears throat> 200 left in red. Oh. <clears throat> so that'll be the first one to sell out. It also is available in blue it comes in charcoal it comes in camel and it comes in aquamarine. And you get a really good idea of how the color pops. And you know, you're, you're, a, you're a big time designer. You're our home BFF. You're supposed to tell us <laughs> what goes with what. In fact, the reason I bought the, the crazy color to go with, because I have a grayish color uh, patio, yeah, the blue I got, because you said it's nice to add a pop of color, right? It's nice to add a pop of color. With You know, maybe you've always envisioned your beautiful home with that red, sharp front door. Yeah, well, yeah. here's a way to have something red and give you that pop of color by the front door. You know, what, what, I, what excites me about being your home BFF is I share with you products that are chic, that are simple, that are affordable, but today, something that's also charitable. And I really just love helping you make the most of what you already have. And what you already have, if you're lucky enough and you're blessed to have your home, that's great, but you need a beautiful doormat. Yeah. When was the last time you changed the front doormat? That's the first impression right. when friends and family are coming over. So sometimes just change, just like putting a fresh sheet, of uh, a, a fresh set, that's a tongue twister, yeah. of new sheets on your bed can freshen and liven your bedroom. 
putting a new doormat by the front door, the yeah. back door. Maybe they're a mess. Maybe you haven't even looked at the ones by the garage door or by the uh, French doors that lead out to your patio. Yeah. You know, people are noticing those as well. So this way, you're bringing home a beautiful functional mat that you need, and you're benefiting Habitat for Humanity. And guess what? This is polypropylene. Right. Pro pro Propylene. Propylene. I got you. No, that you're, word. It's all, you're all the tongue twisters today. Very <laughs> durable. Very, very durable. Well, no, always in the morning I know, that happens. You know, but, but the thing about it really honestly is, and we were, and I talked about this with, um, we were talking about it with Michael Perry. Yes. I talked about it with Carlton Varney. Uh, we had, I, I, we had a, a book recently that came out that was about color on how it affects your moods. Get a little color in the front of your house. So if true. you have a gray house or if you have, you know, sort of a, uh, whatever it is, it could be a charcoal house or a light blue house or a brown house, doesn't matter. Put a, a little fun pop of color out front because it really does affect your mood when you walk in the house. Like if you're walking into a, you know, maybe you have a gray kind of whitewashed or whatever it is, sort of New England house, and you want to you want to just pop that color. Put this right when you walk in, right? Or that blue. Look at the, the aquamarine. Even Beautiful. that brown color, you could do that in a blue house, the right? The is a very neutral color. Yeah. So maybe you don't want to do the color. You want to keep it neutral. The charcoal, that's the one that Bill picked up two of them. That's because, I mean, it's just sharp. It's got little flecks of gray inside That's so if really you're doing nice. gray and charcoal or white those are the new colors that are really on trend and you want that uniformity you like the utilitarian look that's going to be for you or even with the camels going to look good to warm it up a little bit but the blue the evergreen or the aquamarine and then this real snazzy red it says welcome beautiful enough to put inside the kitchen as well as something that you can put outside yeah. the door and incredibly durable i was at the airport right. the other day stood on those two yellow footsteps when you go through the uh, x-ray machine at the airport do you know this is made of that same commercial right. industrial material so this is going yeah. to mean long lasting for you and yeah. non-skid and you mom can, won't right. slip in the kitchen you can roll it if you need to take it anywhere oh, yeah. right if you want to bring it, a lot of people bring it with maybe them when if they you go have an rv yeah, and you need sure. something that's lightweight right or if you're just traveling with it and you want to take it up to to a place uh, you know anywhere you're going to take with you um you know a lot of people will put these in rvs they'll take them on mm -hmm. a boat because they can yeah. scrape the sand off their feet perfect whatever you need I know it sounds weird, but believe me, I've seen that stuff. Uh, boaters don't like sand on the boat. Well, you want to have something right? that's trapping the mud, the right. dirt, the sand. You know, exactly. sometimes people will sand their grass during the spring, you know, to make the sure. grass really lush. Right. And there's a lot of sand around the house. So you need something that's really going to trap everything. This is going to be for you. But my favorite is that it's not leaking. Bone dry. Through. Bone dry. I know, nice non-skid surface. I love that surface. too because I have a rug outside that I take up and every time I take it up, it's it's nasty underneath. So I have to drape it over the thing till it dries out. Exactly. This thing dries off from the hum from the natural drying of the sun or just put it outside for a bit you know you can knock it off with a broom whatever you need to do easy to clean a great job really all Thank as you. always Thank Alexander we, I know we don't spend a lot of time on this but remember 20% of the purchase price of everything in this hour is going to Habitat, so you're going to help other people get that dream of home ownership. It's a really a great program that our friend Bill Brand, uh, our president, supports everybody. Mindy uh, Grossman, our CEO, everybody in the company across the board. We all know about it, um, and we love it. Hey, listen, you can search HSN Cares on HSN.com. If you want to get more information on how you can uh, contribute, uh, just type in uh, that little HSN Cares, and it tells you all about it uh, and what you can do to take care of, you know, friends and neighbors and, and moms and, and and, and people that just don't have it as good as you. It's really a wonderful thing. All right, uh, listen, uh, that's it. If you want to pick the, up the indoor outdoor mat, it's $34.95, only about 100 left in red. We are going to switch outside. I'm going to toss it over to my good friend, Peter, who's going to show you something that is going to knock your socks off. First of all, <clears throat> you know, it's April. It's going to be May, June. So we've got a lot of debris on the ground. Maybe we've got old leaf litter on our porch or patio. Peter's got a product, uh, and it comes to us. Uh, it's Fieldsmith by Earthwise. It's called the three-in-one. It'll blow the leaves off at any speed you want it's adjustable speed it'll also vacuum the leaves without any changing of the product itself it's all built in and it'll also mulch the, v the leaves all in one he's standing outside he's going to give you a quick intro of what it's all about pete thanks guy you really it's an amazing three in one and guy and i were discussing it earlier it makes taking all those leaves off your patio and driveway even off your lawn easier than ever so let me go through real quick and show you the three in one as guy makes his way out here first off is a blower 185 miles an hour and look at that we actually have the wheels on there as well to make it even easier <clears throat> but now this is what's so neat about this we can go from the blower to the vacuum, that leaf vacuum, and we're gonna do it with a flip of a switch right there from blower to vac that quickly, that easily, because we don't have to switch out any tubes, we don't have to do anything. It's ready to go, so now, 
look at that. A powerful leaf vacuum that's going to make cleaning up those leaves easier than ever. And I want you to see that. Look at the wheels right there. So you're able to go back and forth. Now you're using this just like you would your normal vacuum inside because you have that powerful vacuum. Now, the third thing, what's happening when I vacuum these leaves, everything's going up that vacuum tube. That's the larger tube on the top. They're going through this impeller right here, and it's chopping up all those leaves, chewing up all those leaves, and it's going right into our leaf bag. So you're gonna see a huge difference in the amount of leaves. If you picked up all the leaves on your grass and then put them into the lawn bags, it could be 15 bags. But because this is going to mulch those leaves down 15 to one, those 15 bags would become one bag of leaves. And my good pal Guy has made it I'm outside. <clears throat> well, and there, listen. look, we're about to sharpen one. Can you imagine if you had to fill 15 bags yeah. by hand? That's oh never Lord. fun. Yeah. Or take one bag that you vacuumed up right. with your lawn vac, and then all you're doing is emptying that bag. There's a zipper closure on the and bottom here, and you're set. That's it, it. And isn't filling leaves or bags with leaves the dirtiest, nastiest? It's the worst. You're breathing in stuff. Well, I'll awful. rake leaves all day. Yeah. With, with this, you know, them. you can forget even raking now. But raking leaves is one thing. But you ever been down there and you try to open the bag oh, and you try yeah. to paddle them all in yeah, and you that try never to, works? You try to step on the edges and you're it's shoveling the worst. it the worst. But you're going to vacuum up all the leaves. Now, here you can see using it as that blower. And you don't have to have the bag on all the time but I suggest keep the bag on there because some days you might want to go out there and vacuum those leaves right but here blow the leaves off the porch out of the sure. garage the back patio there even pick it up super lightweight nine pounds under nine pounds but it, watch this adjustable handle flip of a switch love that that's the best part add the bag and what's that's 10 <coughs> seconds 10 seconds adjustable power when you need it but when you're using the vacuum go to maximum power and look at that now you're just vacuuming those leaves it could not be easier it's the easiest way to do it and, and you know what's nice too is you never have to worry about buying gas for it you don't have to pull start it you don't have to deal with nothing you just right, vacuum right. it up and then what it does is it takes that whatever debris you've you vacuumed up it reduces it down by 15 times down to a little almost and, and it's great gardening material by the way no question so you yeah. can put it back in your garden or you can mulch it um, but it, it eliminates this you know and you're neighbors what do your neighbors think when you put 12 bags of leaves and they got to look at it for two <laughs> well, days we'll right? check this out i mean i know that's maybe that's the thing that's different for everybody at home or new because yeah. when you say 15 to 1 that ratio check this out yeah we've got our little glass enclosures here you can see this one here with all the leaves in it that's basically two bags of leaves so instead of taking those two bags of leaves and putting them into lawn bags, this is the same two bags of leaves, but they've been run through our three-in-one blower vac mulcher, and that's what happens. That's what they look like when they're mulched down. So now you can see why. If there were 15 bags of leaves, yeah. they would become one bag of leaves right here. It's an amazing way to use it. Yeah. But of course, you have your blower as well. You know and what I love too about this blower, Peter, is that you mentioned, um, is that you can adjust the amount of wind that you yeah, use. Yeah. Let's do that. Right? So if you're going around like delicate flowers, sure. or if you're doing your patio and you don't need to blow the furniture off the patio, right? Well, many times you want to control the leaves. So look at this. I've got, I've got the power to say, well, I'm just going to put all these leaves into a big circle area and then, then use the vacuum. Or let's just say you want to clear it all the way up from 60 to 185 miles an hour with those wheels now you're clearing that patio of all those leaves but it's never been easier to use a blower now of course guy if you want to you can pick up the blower and you can use it in more of the traditional way like this but that takes a little bit more effort even though it's very lightweight but here when all you're holding is this few pounds in your hand yeah. and the rest is just resting on those wheels right. it's back and forth it's so easy to say, you know what, oh, this, this area over here, I'm just going to use the vacuum. I flip that switch. One switch. I've done nothing else. And look at that. And you can hear everything going through that impeller right there. Look at that. Now that's the way wow. to pick up leaves. Hey, let me tell everybody, can I, can I show the colors really oh, quick, cool. Aaron? Yeah. Can I walk over? <clears throat> I want to show you because... Orange is the most limited. That's the one that's going to go first. I only have about uh, 500 of those. Red, uh, blue, green, and purple. Um, when you look at the unit itself, I want to show you something really quick. And that's a good shot right there. Thanks, guys. The reason that there are two pipes right here, okay, there's one on top, 
and then there's a smaller pipe down below. What In the old days, what you had to do is you actually had to reconfigure the machine to be a mulcher. I bought one. It took 20 minutes to turn it into a mulcher. <laughs> you I was don't like, want that's that. crazy. One does vacuuming and mulching, and one does blowing. You never have to switch up here. All you do is you go down here, and there's where you switch it, right there. See that little lever? You go up to vac, you go down to blow. That's how simple this machine is, and I think that's why it's been so successful, is because people are like, it does it all, and I don't have to I don't have to do anything. Yeah, look at this. Yeah. Don't forget, there you can see picking it up like a traditional blower, but on the grass. Now, even using the wheels on the grass, blowing those leaves into a pile, no more raking, and no more. What was we, what were we saying? Picking up all those leaves yeah, and putting yeah, them in no, the bags. Look at that. that. You flip the switch, now you vacuum those all up. Sure. And they're getting mulched at the exact same time. You're gonna love it. And, yeah. and you were talking about your Yeah, blower. this was the other so one. So you have to thing. do this. <laughs> yeah, this, I don't even have to do it anymore. But right. you take this bottom piece yeah, off, so and then you take this, this tube on, off, and then on. this goes down here. You won't use it. We don't, don't even do have it. a bag for this. No, you, you won't use it. Don't do it. This makes it so simple, so yeah. lightweight. I've got blower, I've got vac, back and forth. It's the best. It really is nice. We're gonna wrap on this. We didn't get a okay. lot of time to spend on it, but that's that uh, people love okay. it. You know it. Uh, listen, uh, if you'd like to pick this up, we've got this, and we've got other great stuff on hsn.com. In fact, I can't quite see what... Is that cleaning favorites? Oh, I love that stuff. Yeah, this is the stains are out stuff I, uh, that works so well. This is the spotter concentrate that helps get rid of stains. Um, it's discounted. You can shop using your mobile app if you want to pick that up. Um, and I'll show you how to do that. There you go. If you're simple, simple, simple. I love, everybody's using that nowadays. Either that, people are using their remote control from their TV to shop too, which is great. Um, hey, listen, uh, we've got a brand new app uh, that's there. And if you, uh, if you subscribe to one or more of our uh, email notifications um, on our email, uh, you can get 15% off of your products. So anyway, that's a good deal. So take advantage of that. We're gonna continue to clean up out here, but now we got pressure washer coming up next. And I'm telling you, this everybody should have a pressure washer. They dropped the price $30 and guess what? It's free shipping today. Free, free, free. Love free shipping. So if you need to wash your car, your boat, your RV, if you want to clean off the patio, the deck, now is the time to have a pressure washer. Trust me, I own one. I'm going to use it for the next two months. It's coming up next. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with it at home. Andrew Lessman's ProCaps Laboratories is committed to delivering pure and additive-free, highly effective nutritional supplements. Shop the new monthly special with free shipping and special pricing. In April, help stay active and manage your weight with energy and fat metabolism factors, ultimate whey protein, and secure whey complete meal replacement. Check back every month to discover new specials. Search Andrew Lessman monthly special on hsn.com. Lancome Paris, today on HSN. It's back. You know what you need to do. I'll assemble the team. This is going to be the best jewelry host pick yet. Contact the brands. On it. Me first. It's almost time. Are we ready? There's only one way to find out. Jewelry host pick is back only on HSN. So Peter's back, and we're, you know, whether you're cleaning up outside in your yard or you're cleaning up inside or around your house, there's one thing you definitely got to have. And, you know, my very first pressure washer I bought from this man right here, and it was four years ago. Sure. I got the 1500 PSI, which I love. It's perfect for my yard, for my house. We're right. offering a little uh, cranked up model. This is the 1750. Yeah. And Peter, for my money, there is no better investment you can make in getting your home ready. And, and it, it's not just for spring and for summer, it's all year long whether it's your porch, yes. your patio, your decking, 
a pressure washer takes the ordinary water out of your garden hose That's and right. turns it into a super powered cleaner. It absolutely does. And I think what you find with a pressure washer is you're able to tackle jobs that really are impossible otherwise. So here, we're getting a little air in the hose. That's all that is. Yeah, and that'll happen. There we go. Yeah, all right, we're starting to crank it up here. But you can see that I'm changing the look of this fence. That weathered, worn out fence. This could be your deck. It could be your patio furniture. <coughs> look wow. at the difference in seconds. And when I say, how would you do that job otherwise? I mean, would you be sanding or kind of stripping it with chemicals? It's impossible. With a pressure washer, it is so simple, so easy. And look how fast it is. Unbelievable. And everyone loves using a pressure washer because you get those instant results. Look at that. It goes from terrible to needing to be replaced to being new again. That raw wood, you could stain it, you could paint it. Yeah. It's ready to go. I now. had, uh, when I bought mine, the reason, the real reason I bought it initially was because I bought this, uh, this art, it's, it's not, it's man-made decking material. Right. Uh, you have to have it here in Florida because it doesn't so it warp doesn't and corrode, it, does, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't corrode like this wood does. And by the way, all these wood slats that Peter brings out are real old age wood. Nothing has been treated, nothing. You know, a lot of times for sake of time, you have to treat something to show how it removes. These are all old pieces of wood. It, it's amazing that that is hidden underneath. But anyway, story I was telling you is I bought it because I had a, I had a man-made deck outside with man-made material and it was getting these little black mold spots all over it. Sure. And I tried every chemical you could possibly try. I even went to Acos. I'm like, Acos, help me. You know, Acos, the, uh, you know, sure. the chemist. And he's like, it gets down in there. He goes, if you know, and he said, try a pressure washer. And I went, I bought the one from Pete. It's the only thing that worked, and it got all that dirt, the grime, exactly. like rings from where the plants, where the plants were. Sure. You know, the, plant, the, the pot rings that were there. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing. And I want to show you this one. We have this very lightweight handle and trigger and everything. And you can see when I get the power, when I pull the trigger, when you let go, it stops. We have 20 feet of pressurized hose. And look at this. I, I don't want you to be deterred by this, but look how small the unit is. Previously, to get your probably 1500 PSI one is probably right. twice the size of this. Yeah. Because they used to be massive. Well, but now they're small, telescopic handle, easy to store, mine easy to have move wheels. around. Yeah, now they have wheels. Yeah. So all you're doing is add your, your garden hose and plug it, it in, is. and you're set to go. And it works all around the house. You'll get obsessed with your pressure washer. You just keep washing Because things. you'll do the yeah. wood, you'll do the wood deck, you'll do the wood furniture, the wooden fence. It could be your PVC, it could be your pavers. They get the mold and mildew and all the slimy green stuff on there, and you will see a difference so quickly. And it's easy. There's no elbow grease here. You are harnessing that power, that 1,750 PSI. And look at the difference. If it's dirt, <laughs> any of those things, it does a great job. It really does. And you can see Peter goes from surface to surface. Right. You know, you can clean anything from, like we say, your boat, your car, your RV, <laughs> but you can also clean the side of a house. You know, a yeah. lot of times during the year, your house gets a lot of buildup of grime. I know where I live right now, they're doing construction. The house is covered in dust. And there's oh, no yeah. other way. And, and you know what else? It hasn't rained here, Peter, in what? Weeks? More than so that. So in, yes. in a long time, it's we tough. haven't had real rain. So the houses get dirty. The windows get dirty. There yeah. is no better way to clean your windows. I mean, look at that. We got, we're going up the second, third floor here to get that great, great uh, reach. Um, and, and so versatile. No matter what it is you want to clean, yeah. you can and, do it with this. And what you have here is we have that adjustable nozzle. So I've got a wider spray, great for washing the car. But then all I do is turn <laughs> that and I get that nice. laser jet. Laser. That's going to be great for the second story, things like that. You are going to love it. So, Guy. If you want to show the colors, I want to take this, I'm going to head out to my car, show you how you can wash the car. Perfect. We have an internal soap tank. Yeah, by the way, that's a big feature too because with a soap tank, it allows you not just to blow stuff off and rinse, it allows you to wash as well. So we're going to show you how to wash the car. Let me show you quickly. And this is one of those classic examples on a garage. How else would you do a garage door? You'd have to get out with it. You'd get out there with a sponge, right? And a scrub brush. And you'd have to get that dirt and grime because it doesn't come off of the regular hose because a regular hose doesn't have 750 pounds per square inch of pressure coming out. It takes your regular hose pressure and it cranks so it up a thousandfold. It's amazing. Here's the other wonderful thing I love about it is it's only utilizing 1.4 gallons per minute. If you were to take your regular hose and fill up a five gallon bucket, how long would that take? It would probably take, I don't know, maybe a minute. That's five gallons in a minute. 
That's how fast, that's how much water you're utilizing. This is 1.4 gallons in a minute, so it takes that water and it concentrates it. It uses less to clean more areas. Okay, so I'll start, uh, can I start down here? We'll start down here. So it comes in purple. It comes in green, always very, very limited. It comes in blue. It comes in red and it comes in orange. Orange is the most limited. When you look at the unit itself, it's very simple to understand. There's an off button here and there's an on button. That's all you need to do is turn it to on. You plug it in and then you plug your uh, garden hose right I'm here on the sensitive. side. There's the little uh, the little uh, uh, bib for the uh, for the garden hose. Plug that in there and that is all you need to do. All right, and you, you tighten it up and you are good to go. Actually, that's where you put your uh, your regular hose. This is where you put your garden hose on that side. And there's a brass fitting on there as well. So the other hose attaches to the hose that cleans your house. So anyway, Peter is outside struggling. I know Peter, but Peter has a little bit of a cold, so if he coughs, don't worry about it. You'll be it's, all right, Pete. Anyway. It's true. But even with a cold, I can wash the car. This makes it so easy. Again, that adjustable nozzle. So I can just get a medium spray just to get, kind of get all the loose dirt off the car. But this is the fastest and easiest way to wash the car. I can dial that in, get the windshield. But watch this. All I have to do is pull that nozzle out and now it knows to apply that soap at low pressure. So watch this, in seconds I can put soap all over the car, the truck, the boat, it doesn't matter and it makes it so easy. And then all I do is push that back in. Now I take advantage of that power again. And look at this, the bugs off the windshield, off the headlights. It is a great way to wash the car. You're not getting wet. And with this 20 feet of pressurized hose, you can work your way around the car. The wheel, oh, look at, the, look at the wheels. The wheels are dirty. But all you're gonna do is let that power. And if you need more power, you can just dial that in even more. Wheel wells, get all the soap off there. So a great way to wash the car. You'll be doing this every week and you're not paying, you know, $10 or $12 for a car wash. But then you can go around the whole rest of the yard. That cooler that's been left outside all winter long, take care of that. Of course, the barbecue grill. Look at that, you can hear that power. Love that on the barbecue grill. And then check this out on this PVC furniture. You've got that outside furniture. This will be very difficult to clean without a pressure washer. And look at the difference in seconds because it's getting all the way in there. And then of course, the outside of your house. Vinyl siding, aluminum siding, brick face, it doesn't matter. Look at the power to blast away all the dirt and grime. And believe me, you have all this dirt and grime on the outside of your house. So first thing in the spring, bring that house back to beautiful again by using your pressure washer. And all these jobs are easy. You can do it with this pressure washer. It's gonna be your most favorite outdoor tool for sure. I Guy? know it'll be, it'll be the most envied from your neighbors, that's for sure, because I know the first time I got my pressure washer, I have mine in purple. I actually have the one that doesn't roll. It's a floor model. It's a little bit hard for me to drag it around, so that's why this one is nice, because it's on wheels. But uh, really, where it paid off is, is when I did that decking and it cleaned it off. Then, I had white pavers outside that had mold on them and mildew from being outside. You know, they're all near my shower and stuff like that. I got those all cleaned up. And then I had stepping stones that go from my deck to the shower. I cleaned those all off. I mean, it, it, Peter was right when he said it's really, it's contagious when you use this machine. You look around your house and you go like, I could clean that, I could clean this, I can clean that. And then when you wash your car for the first time and you get the brake dust off the tires and you don't have to scrub, Oh my gosh, I mean, you'll never wash your car any other way again. I mean, essentially, you get a better car wash with this than you will at the car wash. You really will. Definitely. the pressure is better, it's amazing. Yeah, it's very easy, it's so lightweight, you're in control. Remember, I pull that trigger, there's all that power. But when I let go, it stops, the noise stops, it's yeah. very simple. You really will just walk out your front door, take care of the deck, the walkway, the sidewalk. And if you're, if you're interested, I, did, I have a covered patio in the backyard. There was just black, just pouring off the side of the house. Because under those covered areas, we don't get the rain at all, and it gets dirty. Just go outside in your patio furniture, take a paper towel and wipe that patio furniture, and you will see how dirty it is, and then go around the whole house. Remember, we have everything you need with that adjustable nozzle to adjust that power, blast away all that slimy green stuff around the house. Then you can go to the wood, if it's going to be the wooden deck, the wooden furniture. The fence, don't replace the fence. Blast it away with your pressure washer. You will be so happy. And of course, 
if you go in to repaint, refinish, or do anything to the outside of your house, right. guy, and it's something like that, you want to make sure you use your pressure washer. So all around the house, you're going to love it. Of course, you're going to wash your car all the time. If you've got some cool toys from an RV to a boat to the four-wheelers, you are going to love the pressure washer. Don't rent one when you can own one. It's only yeah. $158.95. It's on FlexPay of $39, and it's free shipping. This is the day to buy this thing. And I'm telling you, you will get, you'll do what Peter did. You'll look around and be like, okay, look what I can clean. You're amazed at the right. number of things. And then when you finally use it to clean your car, you'll be like, oh my gosh, what am I paying on car washes? 10 bucks every week. You can do it yourself. Peter, when are you back? I am back on Sunday at 6 p.m. You got to rest. Take Straight it easy. To bed. I know. I know. Hope you feel better. Uh, hey, listen, um, at home is back again next Tuesday. Uh, we are doing a Mother's Day special. So we've got lots of great items to, for you to pick up for mom or dad or yourself or anybody that you see fit. So that's coming up. Um, I want to thank all our guests on this show, Pete, uh, Alexander, everybody that was in uh, Michael Perry. And of course, our wonderful president, Bill Brand for coming in and spreading the word about Habitat for Humanity. That was real special. And remember, 20% of everything you buy in this show is going to go to Habitat for Humanity. So it's a great way to be able to give back. Thanks for being here. Have a great weekend, everybody. Uh, I want to remind you that Marlo is coming up next, and I know she's got great shopping for you. We'll see you on Monday.